guys, I'm Lawrence. And I'm Josh. And we're back with some of the best crowdfunding projects going around. Keeping in mind, this is a personal list. These are our top five indie games on Kickstarter for the month of April. So in no particular order, here they are. Legends of Persia is an action RPG adventure that was voted as one of the top five most exciting upcoming indie games of 2013 by the IndieDB public. In the single player campaign, there are multiple classes available, all with their own unique spells. Once you choose, there is over 8 hours of boss battles and in-depth crafting ahead of you as you uncover the tale of a royal blood feud. Legends of Persia is slated for a June release, but you can order your digital copy now by giving $15 to the Kickstarter campaign. Rocket Science's last life is set on a transhumanist Mars, 10 years after the fall of Earth. The game begins with the death of P.I. Jack Parker, pain. and then his subsequent resurrection via 3D printing. However, this second life is only temporary, and in the few hours Jack has My left, he must beat. reopen his last case to figure out what exactly he missed, and ultimately uncover his killer. Last life will be delivered in an episodic format, case that so if you back $15 or more, you'll get copies for the entire trilogy. The Breakout is a point-and-click adventure firmly set in the era of World War II. Placed in a POW camp, you must rally a team from your fellow prisoners to hatch a plan to outwit the guards and escape the camp. As the story unfolds, the urgency of escaping increases as the colonel in charge is in fact part of a secret cult and has plans for a mass sacrifice. Eight pounds will nab you a digital copy and help make this exciting project a reality. Next up is The Land of Ice, a platform of ever-changing physics and challenging puzzles. As Ice, the cute kid in a cat costume, you seek out stones that contain memories of an old tree so that he can remember his past. Along the way, you must battle with the top half of the screen having regular gravity, where you fall downwards, and the bottom half of the screen having an opposing gravity, where you fall upwards. It's quite confusing, but oh so ingenious and exciting. The Land of Ice is developed to the stage that is playable, but needs Kickstarter support to complete it. Finally, we have Salvaged, a dual screen, real time tactical game. Playing as the leader of a spaceship salvage crew, you control your squad via your mobile device, whether it is a tablet or a smartphone. The mobile device features a top down interface where you can decide your squad's tactics and movements. And then your monitor features a four way split screen first person views of all your squad members. Added to this is the dynamic of permadeath, which makes leading your squad even tenser. This project is highly ambitious, but with a dedicated and experienced company of 12, your dollars will be well spent. Well, there were some really exciting and innovative games on Kickstarter this month, so we hope you enjoyed them. We'll be back next week with our Indie Game of the Week try. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget, he nearly forgot his line. Thanks for watching. I've been Lawrence. And I've been Josh. See you next time here on Indie Formula. Testicles! Testicles have like testicles. Let's break it out. Take one. Thanks for watching. I've been gay. And I've been straight. Yep.